Sauce Korea has been over the world for some years now, starting from the early 2010s with the trend of K-pop. Their music, MVs, music videos, but also fashion, makeup style and dance moves attracted so many people that it had a huge impact on the world. In the early 2000s, South Korea wasn't as huge as it is today and was mostly still influenced by other dominating part of the world, mostly North Korea and Europe. It wasn't rare to see in the K-dramas many conversations related to the Western world and it was most of the time a way to compare both cultures. The western part of the world, mostly North America and Europe, was quoted in K-dramas and movies for the viewer to understand that it was an honor for Koreans to go study there or to be compared to those countries. At that time, studying abroad was a sign of luck and luxury. The trends were so coming from the North America and Europe at that time and South Korea was mostly influenced back then. This said, it is important to note that there were not a lot of Korean fashion designers that were known as they were part of the studying abroad students, most of them at that time studying and working in Paris. We will then see in this video the fashion evolution in South Korea, starting from 2000 to 2009, comparing those with mostly Western brands. Please also note that I might make some mistakes and forget some elements, I am just analyzing what I am able to see, as I do not have all the resources needed to make a perfect video. The beginning of the 21st century was marked by the cerulean blue, chosen as the color of this year. This color was extremely used for women's clothing in K-dramas such as in All About Eve, Autumn In My Heart, Secrets, but also movies as In Mare, Pisces, Bongja and The Idol. This color was also very seen on runways such as in Burberry, Valentino and Dolce & Gabbana. With this, different shades and color were also used in 2000. Cream, dark brown, purple, lavender and yellow. The minimalist style of the time was very popular as almost no patterns were used. We could sometimes see the leopard print such as in Secret that could also be found in Dolce & Gabbana's runway, the geometric lines as in the K-drama All About Eve, but also the plaid pattern in Autumn In My Heart, pretty popular in Marc Jacobs and Burberry's collections in 2000. The year 2000 was also marked by the simplicity of style with the jean. This material was very popular at the time for creating a casual style to the outfit. Silk was another popular material for women and many fashion designers added it to their collections. The silk was seen in secret, Mr. Duke and All About Eve. The skirts were mostly long, at least under the knees, and had a straight form. As the skirts, the dresses were also long, never too short and never close to the body. Blazers with sleeves or no sleeves were seen on many majors and runways. It is casual and classy at the same time, which makes a very popular style at the time. The sweater with a turtle neck and no sleeves was a piece of clothing we could see characters often wearing. And these pieces were also very seen on runways of many different creators with colors as red, black, lavender, brown and more. The stage during the representation of the K-pop girl band Chakra in April 2000 with the song Han, Come Come in Korean, had also some similarities with those 2000 trends. One of the members is wearing a total yellow outfit with a straight long skirt as it was very popular at the time as another member is seen wearing the color of the year, the blue cerulean. The color of the year 2001 is the fuchsia rose, a very barbie color that marked the year in fashion but also in medias around the world. Pink in different shades was suddenly very popular in K-dramas but also in some Korean movies. It was also seen many times on different runways the same year. We also had a lighter shade of pink present on many runways such as in Saint Laurent and Salmon was very popular too. These colors are inspirations from the color of the year, pink, which is a usually a color associated with femininity and almost girls, which makes the woman look more joyful and colorful. One of the most popular fashion influencers at that time was Paris Hilton, here wearing the Barbie pink color. Speaking of colorful colors, the 2000 colors were extremely colorful with very bright colors, and 2001 made no exceptions. With pink, we had yellow, red, purple, orange, and green. Comparing with the previous year, we also get to have patterns that mix many colors together. For more winter and simple colors, we have cream. Speaking of patterns, we had way more than in 2000. In 2001, popular patterns were the chevron, flowers, 
harlequin, lines, and plaid. As for patterns being way more popular than before, we could see less materials on the runways. Jeans were still a trend, being a must-have for the daily life and it's bringing a casual style, and the silk was still trendy too. The length of the dresses were long, as in 2000, yet the pants skirts or dresses were a trend. For the pants, the Capri pants were pretty popular on the runways and medias. As for the tops, we had a sleeveless turtleneck top, a cardigan too. The 2002 color of the year was a true red, a beautiful pure red, popular in South Korea but also in the fashion world. In many Korean medias, as in many runways, this red was seen a lot. We had true red, as we saw, lollipop, a lighter shade of red, orange red, and a darker shade called Tibetan red. We also had blue shades with baby blue, blue atoll, blue graphite, and a darker shade called classic blue and turquoise. As in 2001, the year 2002 was very colorful. Many different shades of different colors were worn, even in fall collections. As for green, we had a darker shade, a plain green, peppermint, or soft green. We could see pink too, other shades as the Barbie pink that was still present, soft pink too, yellow with bright yellow and sunset gold. Orange was less warm but still present. Other colors, plainer as brown and grey, were also present. Brown had many different shades as alabaster green, bleached sand, cocoon, dark earth, and sunburn. As for grey, we had castor grey and pussy willow grey. For the materials, jeans were maybe one of the only really present material on the Korean medias. Jean is a very popular material that is almost impossible nowadays to not wear. Yet, it was less used at that time as before for the patterns we had flowers and lines. The year 2003 was marked by the color of the year aqua sky. It was seen on different runways and Korean medias. Blue shades also had darker shades as midnight and twilight blue. Pink was a very present color too. We had many different shades, just as light pink, lilas, pink champagne, polignac, and sugar coral. Red was still present and another shade called garnet too, but also yellow with a lighter shade and mineral yellow. Green too with khaki and peridot. Orange was still there but with no particular shades. Other classical colors as brown and grey had their show too. For brown we had dark brown, dull gold, light yellow mostly and frost grey for the specific color. Jean was still present in most of the outfits. As for patterns, we still had flowers, lines, and plaids, and another one, words. Crochet was the detail on the clothes that we could see, for example worn by Paris Hilton in 2003 in a black dress. In 2003, the minimalist style is disappearing little by little as the details on the clothes are more and more present. This year was marked by the comeback of the punk rock style, we could see monochrome lines patterns, plaid skirts, tops and coats, and ties. And it made no exception for South Korea, even if the style looks more like a school type. In 2003, it is the start of a new era when showing the belly was a thing. Even in South Korea, where showing too much skin on the top was not seen as a good thing at all. And it's still kinda like that today. It looks more adaptable for a rebel-type character who doesn't care much about what people think. The skirts were seen getting shorter and shorter, as most of them in Korea are now above the knees. Tiger Lily, a shade of orange, was a 2004 color of the year. Yet in South Korea, the color doesn't seem to please, as I only saw men wearing it. <laughs> no women in media seem to wear this color. Yet, it was seen in different runways. In the contrary, pink is still one of the colors that had the most used shades. We had Fandago pink, light pink, peach skin, shocking pink. Other colors were used in different shades too, as blue with Limoges and Vista blue, green with dark red, leaf green and light green, purple with lavandula and sunset purple, and yellow with cadmium yellow. Red was also very used and also with the shade called cayenne. Grey wasn't a used color anymore in 2004, as the plain colors used were only brown shades, such as camel for example. We still had the jean materials and for patterns we had the famous flowers and lines. Yet we had some new patterns such as fruits, peas and words or people on clothes. 
Comparing to 2000 where the minimalist style was very popular, we are now in a year where the craving for details was very trendy. Speaking of peas, this pattern was very popular in the 50s and 60s. The spirals are coming back as vintage is making a comeback in 2004. The 50s was mostly seen with a lot of red colors, rather than the 60s with a lot of green. The crochet is a detail on clothing that is more popular in 2004. Same for larger sleeves, showing bras, and even showing the tummies. The details are starting to be very important with a lot of jewels, multicolor closings, different type of clothing are also important to make a point on. The shirt with buttons on top and the v-neck as well was pretty popular at the time. It was seen in Korean medias, runways, and in some famous American movies such as Mean Girls, which is an iconic movie. Another type of clothes being trendy was a shirt with different colors and materials on it, and short skirts became shorter and shorter in South Korea. In 2005, blue turquoise was the color of the year and comparing to 2004's Tiger Lily, this one had a lot of success in South Korea. This color was very present in both Korean dramas and movies but also in runways. Staying on the blue shades, beside turquoise, we have Delft and Moroccan blue. As for orange, the color has a sort of rebirth as people seem to finally give a chance to that color's shade in South Korea. And for the orange color, we have Coral Reef, and flame. Green was a very popular color on that year with burnt olive, kelp, moss and vibrant green. A surprising thing is that in 2005, pink was a warm color as usual but not in a lot of different shades. Only in begonia pink and fuchsia. Yet purple, who didn't have a lot of chances before, did have its time of glory. In 2005, purple was worn in five different shades. We had deep purple, gloxinia, lavender, light purple, and sweet lavender. As for red, we could find it in American Beauty and Ruby Wine, and yellow was only present in a lighter shade. Other colors such as beige and brown were still present as atmosphere, a shade of beige, and glazed ginger for brown shades. For materials, we had the gin, as usual, but a new one appeared, fur. 2005 finally gave a chance to a material for clothing that seemed to have disappeared for some time. Yet, fake or not, this one came back in many different colors. For patterns, we had the usual flowers, lines, peas, plaid, and fruits too, just as last year. Yet, the details for clothing changed too. 2005 is a year of accessories. Any details were welcomed and the more they are, the more it's good. Belts were so very appreciated in many different ways and styles. We also had the gloves, huge jewels, scarves, ribbons, and more. As for the clothing details, the frill shirts were very popular starting from 2005. We could see those everywhere. Multicolors and monochrome were still very popular. The long v-neck also. Tie and dye for clothing appeared to be used pretty much but wasn't so trendy. Short skirts were taking over the world at that time, making everyone forget how much long skirt used to be trendy back then. And sleeveless shirts or sweaters make their comeback. Some with the famous turtleneck and others with sweater style creating a smart and preppy outfit. In the year 2006, Saint Dollar, a beige shade, is the color of the year. Yet, despite being the color of the year, we see no other beige shades being very present. But the Saint Dollar does have a certain impact in South Korea as it is very present in many different medias. To be honest, 2006 is certainly the most colorful year of the 2000s. We can see blue with blue tints, dark blue, deep ultramarine, and turquoise like last year. Green with dark green, cup, lily green, and moss, orange too with coral, melon, and the traditional orange shade. Pink makes a comeback with Barbie pink, cameo pink, fuchsia, light pink, and a pale pink. Purple has less popular shades but is still very present with the dark purple, lavender, and skyway. Yellow has a French vanilla, light yellow, and mustard. And surprisingly, red is the color that has less used shades with only the traditional red and dark red, which is the first time it happens in 6 years. Jin and Fu has still very used materials since 2005. As for the patterns, we can say goodbye to fruit but not to flowers, lines, peas and plaid. Yet we can say welcome back to words and people patterns. One detail we can also note is that despite the flowers patterns still being present, 
it is less and less used. But this pattern still has its place as it is a very feminine pattern and a very much associated one with women in general. 2006 is also a very curious year, as before it was more into the vintage inspiration with the 50s and 60s, we seem to have much older inspiration in this year. I personally thought that it was just in the K-drama Gung. In this one, the main character, becoming a princess, has a lot of outfit that has 18th century vibes and inspiration but also empire and I really thought it was only because she is a princess. Moreover, also because it was a time for South Korea that imitating other country was very important for them to fit in as they had no power over the world. Yet, it was very surprising to see that many fashion designers were in inspired by fashion history, mostly 18th and 19th centuries. Belts, crochet, jewels, frill shirts, laces, and ribbons, scarves, were still details that didn't disappear from the trends. Long skirts make their comeback, but short skirts did not disappear. Both are now trendy. Showing the shoulders was also pretty frequent, but showing too much skin seemed to not be a trend anymore at that time as much as in South Korea than in the world. Multicolors and monochrome were still present, yet another detail seemed to have a rebirth. Shining clothing. This very 70s vibe really proved that people do not want simple anymore, they want to be seen. It is a real good buy to minimalists. Another thing that suddenly appeared in a lot of different medias was to wear a shirt under another shirt. Wearing many layers on ourselves is another way to say goodbye to the exposing skin trend we had in the early 2000s. Yet a shirt can be laid with another shirt or a dress. But showing the skin may not totally be disappearing with the transparent clothes being pretty much popular at that time. Of course, it is only only for the sweaters and not tops in South Korea. The color of the year of 2007 was chili paper, a dark red shade. This shade wasn't very much used in Korean medias, yet very seen in different runways. A more basic red was way more popular. Green and pink were colors that were seen in different shades. For green, we can see algae marine, chlorophyll, crickets, dark green, and shell green. And as for pink, we have coral, light pink, melon, oye, and poids de senteur. Yellow was also a very popular color at the time with different shades such as lemon curry, pollen, soufre, and also the basic color yellow. Purple is still a very much used color since we can see in both Korean medias and runways the shades amethyst, anemone, and purple wine. Orange is still trendy with the shades of reddish coral and basic orange. And the blue can be seen in shade of dusk, mentha and ocean. Beige and brown are still worn yet not so much. The tourmaline shade for beige and the dune shade for brown. Fur is not so popular for fashion in 2007 as only jean can again be found. Patterns still have flowers, peas, lines and plaid yet we have animal and geometric print this year. As for accessories and details, we can still find belts, and scarves. Big sleeves were still a detail on pieces of clothing, very present in 2007. Crochet, also with frilled shirts. Multicolored shirts were still a trend, while monochrome wasn't very present this year. The 19th century trend of 2006 seems to have some inspiration this year since some shirts are still having the empire vibe. We can clearly see the loose shirts above the tummy that can remind us of the empire dresses in the early 19th century. The shirt under a shirt is still very present, as much as transparent clothing, yet some other trends made a comeback such as pills on shirts and wearing a jean under a dress. The year of 2008 had the blue iris as the color of the year. Blue shades were pretty used this year with the previous shade, Caribbean Sea, Dark Blue and Twilight. The color that was mostly used this year was pink. Pink was very much present in 2008 runways, but also in many Korean dramas and movies. The different shades are Coral, Fuchsia, Light Pink, Pink Matte, Spring Psychos and Wither Rose. Other very used colors were green shades with dark green, light green, shady green and shiitake. We had the red colors with Aurora Red, Dark Red and Rococo and the yellow with Fritis, light yellow, and less trendy colors were purple with royal lilac and orange with but orange and cantaloupe. Beige color with the croissant shade was very seen this year but also brown. As the eternal jean material is staying a trend, the fur is making a comeback after disappearing for a year. As for patterns, we only come back to the basics with the plaid, flowers, lines and rounds this time instead of peas, and accessorizes as belts, ribbons, 
scarves are still pretty trendy in 2008. The crochets, laces and frill shirts are details that are still having a huge place on the runways as much as in the fashion in South Korea. Multicolors clothes too. As before only short skirts were still trendy, the long skirts are once again regaining their place yet not as much as the short skirts. Wearing a shirt under another shirt is still another detail that didn't disappear through the year. Finally, the color of the last year of the 2000s is Mimosa, a darker shade of yellow. And 2009 was a year when yellow finally had his full recognition. Many different shades of the color were used in 2009 in South Korea's medias but also in many collections. As for the shades, we had the Mimosa, as said previously, Honey Yellow, Light Yellow and Super Lemon. Blues was also a very used color with the shades Baby Blue, Dark Blue, Light Blue, Majolica Blue, Palace blue and turquoise. Green too with dark citron, dark green, lucid green, vibrant green and warm olive. As for pink, which was a very famous and used color in the 2000s overall, it is still a very appreciated color with the shades fuchsia red, light pink, raptor rose and salmon rose. Red is obviously used with the shades American Beauty, Burnt Sienna and Vivid Red. Yet the forgotten colors were mostly purple with the shades Purple Heart and Vivid Purple but mostly orange, losing the past recognition with only the dark orange. Beige is also pretty trendy with the creme brulee shades and the Nomad wand. As for the fur engine of staying in fashion this year, we finally had the third one. The silk. This one material is doing a huge comeback as it wasn't seen since a very long time. The patterns didn't have changed much, speaking of the flowers, lines and plaids, the most used ones. Yet, we do have the animal pattern coming back this year, and a new one we have never seen before. The Christmas pattern. It is funny as I only noticed that this pattern wasn't famous at all in different collections, but was seen many times in Korean medias, mostly to add innocence and cuteness in a character, because Christmas in Korea is associated with love and not family, such as in most of the western countries. As for the details and accessories, belts, ribbons, scarves are still pretty trendy. Actually, the style is reminding me of Blair Waldorf, a famous character of the American TV show Gossip Girl. To me, this style really is the beginning of a new era where the details are very, very important, where we are not afraid to mix many accessories and different patterns in the same outfits. Literally, it is a farewell to the minimalist style. Big dresses are also very seen this year, as the balloon effect of a dress really adds to the I want to be seen message. Adding to that, colorful tights, shining clothes, it's anything possible to make the people all look different and outstanding from one another. Different clothing trends stayed over the years as the pants under the dress, the shirt under another shirt, or a sweater, short dresses and skirts, and more. Some are making a comeback such as the showing shoulders. Speaking of shoulders, another way to do show the shoulders was the specific type of dress, the one shoulder dress. It was worn by many celebrities during the 2010s but we will see that later. Yet a new trend is starting and seemed to be very popular in 2009 in South Korea, the sleeveless coat. I didn't see this piece of clothing in many runways actually but it was very present in many Korean medias at that time. To conclude this video and first part of the South Korea's fashion history, we could clearly see how the Western fashion really influenced South Korea's medias in the 2000s. Even trends are showing the termies or more skin on the top, which is truly something that is not common at all in South Korea, was followed in South Korea. Yet things are about to change since we are now entering into 2010s when South Korea is literally becoming more and more popular all around the world for the culture and is gonna change their life forever coming from the influenced and becoming the influencer. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing to my channel, like the video and maybe leave a nice comment. I hope to see you soon in the next video and I must leave you now, bye!